<laughs> oh my god, I have forgotten how to make this. Hello, welcome again to a new video on the channel. I'm Nerea, I'm from Spain, but right now, dry, 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 dry. But right now I'm living, working and studying in Finland and basically I've created this blog to have some kind of record of everything that is going on here in Finland, in my life and who knows, maybe in some period of time I look back and I just remember how my life was when I started doing this because I truly believe that your life can change like this so welcome Today I'm gonna be talking about the cultural shocks that I had when I moved here, especially during the first months. Um, it was it was interesting. <laughs> I came from Madrid to Finland, and even though Madrid is in Spain and it's not like so far, it's just four hours by plane. It's not too much, but there are some things that shocked me and that's what we are gonna be talking today so let's go so the first shock that i got of course it was the language before coming here i was reading a little bit of the typical words that you have to know when you go to another country for example i learned uh, good morning that is huomenta i also learned to say thank you that is kitos how to say hello you can say moi or terve okay so the little things i remember that i thought okay these are the basic ones and i already think that this is really complicated i cannot imagine how it's like the rest of the language i also long nail i also took a look on the alphabet and i saw this a uh, 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 that i nowadays I still don't know how to pronounce <laughs> still trying still working on it so even though i took a look to some words and expressions before coming here let me tell you no one prepares you for the language when you come here and you first listen to the full conversation i was like Finnish language it's not an intuitive language maybe a little percentage of the words that come from English or Swedish are like more intuitive or you can um, maybe understand them uh, but the rest of the words and the expressions the phrases the, the everything it's not intuitive and I got at all <laughs> actually I thought Thanks God, I don't have to learn this language because I came with the Spanish company so we mainly spoke in Spanish or in English so I basically didn't need the Finnish language on, in my day to day so I didn't need to learn Finnish and I remember <sighs> Lucky me, I don't have to study Finnish language because it looks and it sounds really complicated Three years after that, here I am studying Finnish we can talk about that process maybe in another video because I don't want to make this video really long but yeah for sure I will talk about how my experience learning Finnish is going right now because those two years that I was working here without knowing the language I was practicing my listening and now that I'm studying it's quite easier when I first came here I had a job in wind farms actually we were working more in English then when I moved to Helsinki I had another project it was a hospital in this project it was such a big project we had weekly and daily meetings all in Finnish actually my company had to put me a translator from Finnish language to Spanish and she helped me with everything because I basically needed uh, to understand what was going on on those meetings to be able to do my job during those meetings actually it was like two hours meeting three hours meeting my brain didn't brain after those meetings like no <laughs> nothing at all <laughs> holy shit also about the language i remember when i started this project in the hospital they gave me 700 and so on drawings i was working as an architect so i had to work with drawings all these drawings were in finnish a lot of terms i didn't know them even in spanish so imagine when i saw those 700 drawings all in finnish whoa i remember the panic attack that i had <laughs> like 
like, what does this mean? Like, what is pohelada? <laughs> I have to say that after maybe a couple months, I was starting to understand some terms, like basic terms like walls and foundations, concrete, steel. Basically, the main terms that we were using daily, I started to understand them and also to use them. But I never knew how to conjugate those words because Finnish language has this thing that uh, you can put endings into everything, verbs, adjectives, pronouns, everything. You can change everything. Like it's wonderful. It's magic. So I just basically use the little things that I knew, and that's it. Actually, I got a tattoo. I don't know if you had this. Rauta. This was the first word that I learned in Finnish. It means steel, iron in Finnish. Got it here into the veins because after the first, <laughs> after the first project in Lapland, it was hard. But the second project here in Helsinki, it was even harder. So I got this tattoo because it makes me feel that we have steel, we have iron in our veins, and we are stronger than what we think. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. The second and I think the most spoken shock that I had when I moved here, of course, is the weather. I came from Madrid on August. When I left, uh, it was 7 a.m., like it was really soon, and I left Madrid at 40 degrees, like plus 40 degrees Celsius. When I arrived here, it was like Corona times, so we had to make like a step over, I don't remember, Belgium. So basically my trip from Spain to Finland took me around 11 hours to arrive here or more, because I remember I arrived here at 11, 12 in the night, so more than 12 hours. The thing is that when I landed here, the temperature was 8 degrees, like 32 degrees less than in Spain. I was like, okay. And the best part is that my first project was in Lapland. <laughs> so I arrived to Helsinki, 8 degrees. And when I checked the weather forecast in the application on, on my phone, it was like one degree. Like, I think that everyone before coming to Finland, either if it's for a living or just for a trip, all of us, we check the weather, we watch some videos on YouTube, everything. And even though you watch a lot of stuff, you will never be prepared for the winter here, especially the winter. I remember that I read on the internet, yeah, Lapland minus 40 degrees, minus a lot. <laughs> even if you consume all the content that you find on the internet, you cannot imagine how minus 32 degrees feel like in your body in real life you cannot imagine i promise you it's not that hard you buy some good clothes and you learn how to properly dress and actually you don't even feel the cold i swear but as everyone says here in finland there's no really cold winter there's just bad clothes so if you are coming here prepare your clothes <laughs> Last but not least for today, because I had a lot of shocks for me as Spanish Mediterranean culture, one huge shock was the food. I also remember the first time that I was going to make groceries. First of all, I thought, what the f I didn't even know what I was buying. Uh, I, I just looked at those items and I thought, I hope I, I can eat this because I, I don't even know what it is. Everything is full of boxes that here are called laticos. You can find porcana latico or whatever latico, like you can find everything into a box. And then you take that box and put it into the microwave and th that's it, you have your food. <laughs> no. That was a really big shock. But I also have to say that if you want, you will find for sure markets with fresh food and you can prepare your own food like from your home country as I'm doing. I'm preparing the same food that I, I also prepared in Spain. So it was a shock, the fact of going to make groceries and not understanding what I was buying. But at the end, you will find everything. It's a normal market. Well, M4 today, I think it's enough 
shocks i will of course make more videos because i have here my list of everyone everything but i have more socks of course and still today i'm getting shocks because a uh, different country of course so this was everything for today i hope you have enjoyed this video and if you were just looking for some information because you are planning to move to finland i hope that this video helps you to maybe find some answers but as i've said you cannot never imagine what is waiting you on another country until you go so welcome to come you will be surprised that was another suck actually i was not expecting to be really happy here and i am so come and check it by yourself see you next week moi moi i think i'm not forgetting anything but